Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mike Ostrander. My family and I are here in Kentucky. Uh, we went to Harvest School 8 back in 2008 and uh, traveled different places throughout the years. And uh, we're here back in a small town in Kentucky where actually my wife, Megan, is from. She's born and raised here. And uh, the Lord has led us back here to, uh, to this part of Kentucky. And uh, we're just simply here loving our neighbors, honestly. Um, we just just love our neighbors, reach out to our neighbors and just have meals with them and just love them. That's what we do here. But I just wanted to uh, just share a real quick uh, word of encouragement. You know, in John 14, Jesus is, is saying, if you love me, you'll follow me, you'll obey me. Uh, you'll obey my commands if you love me. And basically those who don't, follow me, who don't obey me, they don't love me. And it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I love Jesus and I just desire to follow him. And I know you do too. And my encouragement is, is to follow him, to obey him and to respond to his invitation to where he's sending you or what he's asking you to do. And I'll just share a quick, just a, a recent testimony. Um, last fall, you know, I just had gotten back from staffing. Our family had staffed a harvest school. And then we went to a, a, an Iris meeting and and there the Lord was um, stirring intercession with, with Heidi and, and the, the room there about the hurricane that had hit in uh, Florida. And remember, we live here in Kentucky and um, you know, I I help out sometimes with uh, with Iris alumni relations, and so when when she said that, but there was something that kind of dropped in my heart, and I woke up back uh, at, back here in Kentucky. We traveled home, and I woke up one morning, and the Lord had just clearly said to me to to respond to that, to do something about the hurricane in in Florida, and so I thought I would just just kind of rally some alumni to go and help people clean up their homes and without it have been flooded roofs that have been torn up clean up yards love people give them supplies kind of just a, a disaster response you know and um and as things began to unfold um jesus was making it clear that he wanted to establish something longer term that he wanted to establish his presence and uh his authority his a community of believers, home churches, churches to be planted and to 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 spread throughout this southwest Florida, and that sounded pretty big. And 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 I, all it took was just us saying yes to him. And it was very unknown. I live in Kentucky. I don't have. I didn't feel led to move to Florida or anything like that. But just I needed to respond to him, and so we did. And. And I forget how many alumni had responded through the course of a few months, but there was a lot of us that came in and out, some the whole time, in and out. And, um, and you know, we, we ended up hunkering down in one neighborhood that just uh, the Lord had just clearly identified. And, and a community has been planted there. Uh, people have uh, local, local ministries, um, are are committed to loving these people and they're continuing to and we just recently got reports of them uh doing several different outreaches one just recently for easter and how um children were getting saved and baptized and and there's a lot of uh, harvest happening in this community and and the lord is moving and will continue to move and and he's established his love in this community that was known as the biggest gang uh uh, area dangerous and and God is is saying no the banner over this neighborhood is love and and it just took some people to say yes so it's not about me obey I mean yeah I said yes to him but there was so many alumni who heard that call and responded and because of that the banner of love has been flown over a neighborhood and is continuing to thrive and so your yes is is so unknown sometimes and it may just seem simple and it may only be simple like it just like i said here we're here in kentucky there's nothing 
like that would seem huge and amazing, powerful. Well, it is powerful, but it's it, it doesn't seem big and grand. But we're just here loving our neighbors, and that's the that's how we're obeying Jesus here in Kentucky. And uh, anyway, those who love Jesus obey Him, and those who don't don't. So I just encourage you guys, whatever He's calling you to do, just just obey. Just take that step and follow Him radically. I love you guys. I'm so I'm so happy to be a part of this family, and um, I'm excited to see the future and and the kingdom of heaven advancing.